heard about a couple, some objects, sound and light specifically, and maybe some other ones, is that that's not going to be true anymore. So for example, let's say I can sing a note. Uh, I'm singing out that note. Here I am. So I'm singing a note. That note is going to travel at in 20 degrees Celsius air. The speed of that note should be 343 meters per second. I wrote the 40 but I remember. That's good for me. Now, let's say I also am going to sing that note, but I'm going to run at 100 meters per second. What speed will the sound have? 143. No, it's still 343 meters per second. Sound cannot go faster than 343 meters per second in 20 degrees Celsius air. So, because of this, we have this effect referred to as the Doppler effect. And that's when you make your police car go. Like that. The frequency is the pitch is higher coming towards you and then lower right going away from you. So lower like that. Going across the front of your police cars and everything else. This is the Doppler effect. What's wrong? Alright, let's go let's go back for a second. This is not moving. It's just sitting right sit phase zero there. So you see all those waves are evenly spaced out. Agreed? Sure. This is what happens. I'm just standing here and I go, ah. That's what happens. I have a nice, consistent standing wave coming out of my mouth. Agreed? Yeah. yeah. Now I'm going to move this puppy going right. Give it some speed there, like that. Now these waves in front, see that's going fast, going too fast. It's like it's a. Now these waves out front. Are no longer going to be spaced out properly because they're not. They're in theory they should be going faster than 343, or they keep up evenly spaced. Now these waves in front are all clumped up, and the ones in the back are way spaced out. So the waves that are approaching you have a higher frequency because they're going to be closer than they're supposed to be, and then further apart as they go away. If I draw it, it looks kind of like this. Thank you. I meant to do it myself. Normally, if I'm just standing here, these waves should be maybe that far spaced apart. But if I'm running, I'm going to be singing a note. When I let go of the next one, it's I'm going to be like closer to the one I let go of it, but it couldn't stay in front of it. It's supposed to. I'm actually, as I'm running, like gaining on the sound in front of me. So it ends up being released a little bit sooner or closer. That's hard to explain, really, in that sense. But they get together. But this is why, one example, is why you would see an airplane in the sky, but you don't hear the sound until back here. Because the airplane is going faster than the sound that it's created. So the pitch is so high that it's That's what's at, but this plane might be going 700 meters per second. So when you see it way over here, 
it's already gone past its sound wave. It left its sound like behind it. And so the sound is still traveling through the air, and it finally gets to this point when the plane's already long past that point. It's also just due to the fact that speed's faster, the light's faster than sound, but the two things kind of work together. And it's the opposite. If I'm running away from something, I release a note. They just keep getting spaced out further and further apart because they can't keep up. Because in one second, a sound wave only travels 343 meters. But if I run at 10 and release the next one, then they're spaced out 10 more apart than they should be. And so it just the lower pitch, they have a lower frequency on each ear. So that's the Doppler effect. So we'll have a little more tomorrow. The same, the same thing happened in space, though, so I would know the universe is expanding. Because here's the Earth, here's this you know, planet 10 billion light years away. If it's moving away from me and emitting light waves, light can also only move at a set speed. So as it moves away from me and emits normal light, all that light gets shifted to be a lower frequency, so it all looks a little more red than, than it should. That's how I know lights that plants moving away from me could have a little red hue to the light, all the red shift. So that would be your PSA. Cool. So that's that one. Questions? Yeah? Okay, uh, what are the uh, I'm not exactly sure. It happens because something moves faster than the speed of sound. I've, not, I've always been confused if it's one moment that it moves or if it's a continual movement. You know, it's kind of what I think, but I can't understand it. But I, I, I only hear it once. So if, if, when it happens, when I can show you a, maybe an animation. There's your homework, though. I'll go back to that in a second if you let me so spec this maybe. Here's another example. So here's another here's another, another example. You can see how this police car moves. The waves in front are clumped and the waves in back are spread out. This is a picture of Doppler effects FET, but it happens because all these sound waves line up with, with each other and make it a super loud sound. So it's just really an overlapping of sound waves, so they're really loud. It's all sound to emits. That, that's when it happens. It happens like in this picture, the plane is traveling at the speed of sound, so all its sound waves overlap per perfectly, making a super loud wave. And this is another picture of that. That's a sound kind of, yeah. Yes. And same thing down here. Their overlap still down here, so you also get that same effect. Yeah. Well, there's a moment. Sorry. It's already on its way, man. 530. You're going to have to look up in your book. There's tables of the different speeds of sound in your book. You have to use some of those. Oh, no. Thank <laughs> you.